Good day everyone, this is Teacher Justina and our video for today is all about graphing a linear equation into variables. As we have known that there are three methods in graphing a linear equation into variables. They are, the first one is the intercept method followed by the slope intercept method and the table of values method. But before that, let us define first what is an x-intercept. It is the x-coordinate of a point or a line or curve intersects the x-axis. So at this time, we'll be getting the x-intercept first. So getting the x-intercept, we should have to y, set the y equals 0. So given an equation 2x plus 4y is equal to 4, since we need to set y to 0, then we need to substitute it by 0. And let us now simplify further. It will become 2x uh, plus 0 is equal to 4. But since we will be getting the value of x, then we need to uh, apply the division property of equality by uh, having 2 as our common divisor as to isolate the 2 in the 2x. So therefore, 2x over 2 is equal to 4 over 2. And so far, x is equal to 2 because 4 over 2 is equal to 2. And this 2 is already the x-coordinate of the point where the graph crossing the x-axis. And that is now 2, 0 as a point, and that is the x-intercept. We can now plot the 2, 0 on the Cartesian plane. And the 2, 0 is, can be located horizontal distance of 2 units, that's it. And thus, the point is there. And then after which, naming it, it's 2, 0. So we are done plotting the x-intercept, 2, 0. Proceed now to the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is the y-coordinate of a point where a line or curve intersects the y-axis. So this time, since we are done with the x-intercept setting y to 0, this time getting the y-intercept, x should be set to 0. So the given is 2x plus 4y is equal to 4. And since x will be substituted by a 0, then let us have this 2 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 4. And now, so it's already a 0 plus 4y over 4y is equal to 4. And since y, we're able to have a 4 both in the uh, denominator because we will be getting the value of y. And since there is a 4 as the numerical coefficient, then we have to divide them both sides by 4. And 4 over 4 is equal to y and 4 over 4 is equal to 1. So therefore, our y coordinate of the point where the graph crossing the y-axis is 1 and the point is 0, 1 and that is the y-intercept. Let's proceed plotting the y-intercepts which is 0, 1 and to proceed let us connect the points and now this is already the graph of the equation 2x plus 4y is equal to 4. Now, let us have another example. Let us try see the given 3x is equal to 3y plus 9. As you have noticed, that uh, it is easier to get the x and the y intercepts if the equation should be transformed into general form. So, the general form is ax plus by is equal to c. And so far, the x and the y should be on the left side and the constant term should be on the right. Again, the ax and the by term should be on the left, the constant should be on the right. So since the given equation 3x is equal to 3y uh, plus 9, the 3y should be transposed. So we need to transpose it to the left. So it will now become 3x minus 3y is equal to 9. And same thing, we need to set y to 0. So that is now 3x minus 3 times 0 is equal to 9. And since it's already a 0, so 3x is equal to 9. And since we'll be getting the x value, so we need to divide both sides by 3. And so far, the 3 and the 3 now is already uh, x and 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. And the 3 is our x-intercept, 3, 0. Let us now plot it to the Cartesian plane. So it's a 3, 0 there. And now we are done with the x-intercept. Proceed to the y-intercept. 
the y-intercept, that's time, x should be 0. So, the general form is 3x minus 3y is equal to 9. Then, let's proceed to substitute, uh, substituting the x to 0, and that's it. It is now negative 3y is equal to 9 because 3 times 0 equals 0. And since we need to get the value of y, then we need to divide both sides by negative 3. So, applying the division property of equality, then the remaining will be uh, y is equal to 9 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 3. And this is our y-intercept. Let us now plot the 0, negative 3. And remember that it's negative 3. So we need to, from the point of origin, we need to go down 3 units vertically. So we have to 1, 2, and 3. And then that's the point in there. So it's 0, negative 3. Let's proceed to connecting the two points. Okay, and remember, out of two points, we can determine a line. And this time, how do we know if our graph is correct? So, again, the graph will be named according to the, uh, it's up to you, according to the general uh, form or according to the original equation. So, the graph will be named after the name of the equation. Now, how do we know if our graph is correct? So, we have to choose a point that lie on the same line. This is to check if our uh, line being found is correct. So we are choosing, other than the two points, the two distinct points that we have are the y-intercept and the x-intercept. Now let us try see another point on the line, and it is 5 and 2. So the x representing the 5 and the 2 representing the y. So what shall we do with the 5, 2? will be substituting it to the x and to the y in the equation. So the equation is 3x is equal to 3y plus 9. And since our x is 5, so we substitute it by 5 and the y is 2. So, so far, 15 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 9 is equal to 15. So since 15 is equal to 15, then therefore our graph is correct. Okay, so, so far, as you have seen, for our first two examples, there's no fraction at all. Let us now proceed to another example. The next example is uh, our x term has a fractional numerical coefficient. So, are we following the same uh, process? Yes, we still have to apply the same process. Same thing, getting the x-intercept, the y equals 0. And then, and then 2 fifth x plus 0 already, because y will be 0, is equal to 1. And since we have to, we have to isolate the 5 as to have an easier process, uh, I'm sure if, if it will be a fraction, something which is uh, quite tedious in the process, so we have to isolate 5. Okay, so isolating the 5 will be considering a multiplier of 5. So 5 multiplied in the left term and also uh, in the right term. So therefore, the 5 and 5 can be cancelled because that is already equal to 1. Or 5 times 2 equals 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. So 2x is equal to, so 2x is equal to 1 times 5 is equal to 5. And since we're getting the value of x, we need to apply division property of equality. Thus 2x over 2 is equal to x and the value of our x this time is 2.5 because 5 over 2 is equivalent to a decimal 2.5. And that is our x intercept. Plotting the 2.50 is there and then let's proceed getting the y-intercept this time x should be zero so as you have seen instead of two fifth x we have to have it as zero so two fifth times zero is equal to zero and then y is equal to one and for this y is equal to one and the one is the y coordinate of our y-intercept so therefore plotting zero one is there and then connecting the points that's it and again how do we name the graph you can name it according to the equation that we have okay again 
let us choose another point on the graph itself for checking. So we are choosing negative 5 and 3. So let us try to check the negative 5, 3 by substituting this to the x and the y in the equation. So the negative 5, 3, the negative 5 there stands for the x and the 3 there stands for the y. So instead of x, we have to write negative 5 and instead of y, we have to write 3. So therefore, the 5 and the 5 there will be cancelled and then... We have a negative 2 because 2 times negative 1 is equal to negative 2 plus 3 because we have there the y equals 3 is equal to 1. And for further simplification, okay, for our last example, our x and y terms are both fractions. Thus, the same process, we need to set y to 0. And so far, the remaining will be negative 1 fourth x is equal to negative 1. And then that's it. We need to uh, isolate the negative 4 as to get the value of x and then x is equal to 4 because negative 1 times negative 4 is equal to 4. Then that is our x-intercept and then plotting it and let's proceed to the y-intercept. So it's negative 1, 4 times 0 plus 2 third y is equal to negative 1. And now we have 2 third y is equal to negative 1. And now, let us now isolate this 3 by multiplying both sides by 3. And now, the remaining is 2y is equal to negative 3. So, to get the y, we should uh, divide both sides by 2. And now, the answer, the y now is equal to negative 3 halves. And that is our y-intercept. And then, plotting it on the Cartesian plane, we have, because negative 3 halves is same as negative 1.5. And now let us connect the points and then choosing another point on the line, let us have the negative 4 and the negative 3. So to check if our graph is correct, then we have to have the negative 4 negative 3 substituted to the x and the y. So far, 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1 and negative 1 equals negative 1. And I think uh, I've given... Uh, different examples as to how to find the x and y intercepts. Goodbye everyone and I hope you have learned something from my video. I hope guys you have learned something in this video. Thank you everyone.